kill it. Orc? Yep. No troll. Now, orc. It, he's an orc. He's going to be yeah. in an orc centric part of uh, Tokyo. It's in the underbelly, yeah. so it's going to be rather lawless. And, uh, well, yeah, uh, Silent Killer, uh, just to let you know, uh, what we have in the group, um, you can see on the bottom of my screen here, you've got the icons for the voices that you're listening to. We've got Ivanhoe, who, um, the concept behind this one, Silent Killer, is the Corporation Renraku grabbed a bunch, three, grabbed three rather faceless shadow runners who were new to the scene that had no history or reputation to go on a covert jobs for them in New Tokyo. Um, Ivanhoe and Wayland are old time gaming friends of mine who are actually they've worked for the corporation in the past and they're experienced shadow runners and they were hired back by the corporation to oversee these three new people and because they were technically in retirement and had disappeared they too are somewhat faceless in the need for this task. So uh, Wayland, uh, the character that Mike that plays Wayland, is unable to make it today. So his character is being called back by the corporation for certain reasons. He was playing an adept, a, a troll adept. Um, Ivanhoe orc is adept. Oh, orc. Sorry, an orc, an orc adept. <laughs> and Ivanhoe is a troll. Uh, he's not a proper class, but he is a he's mixture of street samurai. Street Samurai would be the best way to describe he's him, closest. yes. He's got a mix of... Closest would be a Street Samurai. The new people, Rain is an elf, and she is a summoner. A Deadeye is an adept as well, but he focuses on his uh, pistols. And Lina, is, and he's an elf too, and Lina is an orc, and she is... No, she, yeah, and Lina is an orc, and she is more of a mage, um, self-taught through books. Um, and as far as people know, they met her. She was on the streets. She was like a street urchin with a couple of books that she was training herself with. Rain looks like she's had some sort of a corporate background. And Deadeye looks like he might have been part of the elven militia back around Seattle. Um, all of them have just made it to uh, New Tokyo. And... Uh, Lena. Lunch, dinner. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, effectively, they are trying to grab regular jobs around this area to actually set themselves up. And that's where we are now. Uh, the, the main corporation uh, does not have any jobs for them yet, as they want them to kind of build up quietly as new runners in Japan with no real back history is what they're looking for for their discreet works done later. So that being said, guys, uh, you have the intel. The person you seek is going to be in a bar that's going to be in the orc uh, section of Tokyo. What? Just got the complete edition right now. $50 off. I missed what you were talking about. Complete edition of Dead Eyes? Shadow. Oh, Shadow Run? Which one? The fifth edition or fourth? <laughs> Thanks for filming me. You got my attention. Thank you, Silent Killer. Um, my channel, by the way, as I am a bit of a variety streamer, but I'm starting to focus more on role-playing games um, or and DMing or Dungeons and & Dragons and those type of things. But I'm also looking at doing different venues. There's a lot of Dungeons & Dragons streams going on, but there's other games like Shadowrun, Star Wars, and things like that that I'm looking at focusing on with this channel, as well as playing a bunch of games and stuff like that, especially after these freaking Black Friday sales. Oh my god, I got a bunch of games that I'm going to be playing soon too. So, yeah, stick around. Uh, please feel free to follow and track if you like, and if you want to see previous episodes, um, down below is my YouTube link, and the previous episodes are saved on YouTube if you wanted to catch up on what's been going on in the story so far. So that being said, back to you guys. How do you wish to approach this thing? You've got... Effectively, you know where the bar is. I could bring up a map for you, but you don't know what the interior of the bar is. Effectively, it's got alleys all around it. It doesn't have a proper street. It, it basically doesn't have a street side to it. You would get off the main street, you start going down an alley, and it's in amongst other buildings, this kind of bar. 
Um, the neighborhood in the orc community has dropped a bit, and they've embraced the new orc, in a way of speaking. So they've got their symbols up on the wall. They've got, you know, you know, edged weapons all around, and... Uh, Oh, you got! I gotta click on a linky. I now gotta click on a linky. Oh, oh, the game wise, that's what? Okay, everybody, everybody, go to that link. If you do not have the Shadowrun collection, go to that link. It's only thirteen bucks for seventy-seven dollars worth of Shadowrun fucking awesomeness. That's Canadian. I think I'm seeing Canadian or U.S. I'm not too sure. But you actually get all of... I already own all of these. You get Shadowrun Returns. You get Shadowrun Dragonfall Director's Cut. And you get Shadowrun Hong Kong. All of them are fucking awesome Shadowrun games. 82% off, guys. 13 bucks, 75 Canadian or U.S. I'm not too sure what I'm looking at right here. But originally $77. I cannot stress how much that is a fucking good deal, guys. If you already own one or two of those titles, they might do the complete your bundle bonus, and that will even be cheaper for you. So check that out, guys. That little link that Tons of Fail just put in. I cannot promote this more. If you love Shadowrun, get those. All right, that that's my ad right there. Holy shit, 13 bucks. Damn. Because my I don't know if mine's translated for Canadian or if that's the U.S. price that popped up. It's a web page link. But that, I did not see that special. Well, I owned them all. That's why I didn't see the special. But, guys, the Dragonfall one's a really good one. It takes you to Germany, and, and that's kind of interesting as well. And especially who the owner of the one German company is. <laughs> so, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, okay, guys. So, bang. That's an amazing link. Thank you very much for bringing that to my attention. Tons of fail. And now we get back to the game. So, it has no street access. You have to get to it through alleys, so you can get to it from east, west, and south of the building via alleys. Um, if you wanted to, you could send somebody to recon the area, but um, I would love to suggest that I point out the fact that this is a very pro-orc part of the area. Trolls are allowed because trolls are the other kind of outcast. You think some dwarfs might be allowed in, but you know the prime race that they are picky about having walk around their area? Freaking pansy dandelion eaters. Ah, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. do really. <laughs> let's, let's go. I, I don't know. They can be picky all they want. Uh, we've got a job to do. Let's do it. So, Ivanhoe, I have to say the mantle of leadership now goes on to your shoulders. The kiss the chef apron and short wearing What's troll. A smile, smile on, on that face. face. Thank you very much, Athoris, for hosting me. And welcome, welcome, welcome. You hear the sound of the door opening and sounds like somebody shutting the door with their heel as uh, Uni kind of just comes in. She's got a couple of paper bags that seem to be carrying some supplies and stuff. Her hair is slightly, her, her purplish, her hair is slightly uh, all out. Like, it seems to be more purple in her black hair. And she, it brings out the violet eyes that she has. As she kind of comes in, drops the paper bags in, you see that there's some bok choy and a bunch of other kind of limp looking vegetables. Filled with cooked meat smells and spices. Oh, at least the carnivores are happy in the house. At this point, she kind of pulls out the bok choy and she starts pulling out some other. The bok choy looks limp and not that, you know, it's kind of, it, and, and some of the other stuff she pulls out is like, you know, the mushrooms look like they have grown extra big on, you know, in, in the bag. Um, but she seems to grab a bunch of things and she asks if there's anybody, is there any other non-carnivores amongst us here? That's she looks to the elves. Duffing my face. <laughs> uh, no, right. I grew up in civilized culture where we eat meat. And the best part is she's just human. She's not even an elf or anything like that. Right? All right. Civilized so. culture. 
Mm -hmm. At that point, yeah, yeah. As you, at that point, he grew up in civilized. Co well, Mrs. Civilized Culture, you might want to pull your dress off. You got a nip showing, and she continues to the rest of this stuff. Her back <laughs> is to you. You see her shoulders kind of under the leather jacket, kind of straighten out a little bit more. Then she continues her pause and starts putting the other stuff away and all that. So, what's going on? Are we doing some sort of orc town raid or what? As she starts now kind of chopping up some stuff and starting to put something to eat together for herself. Who's going to be getting in there? Pardon? Probably getting, probably going to be getting in without getting half her team killed. Dad, we'll be fine. <laughs> Lena, of course, has no real worries. Everyone likes Liz. <laughs> Silent killer likes your attitude. <laughs> or, or, I, or I should say Rain. Everyone likes her. <laughs> well, aside from dressing you guys up in gym suits and putting dog collars, the humans are straight pets. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Jedi, that is any words from you? <laughs> that would at least get you past the door. Can I have a pink <laughs> collar? Can I have a pink collar? <laughs> yeah, I think we put a pink, uh, pink, pink colored uh, bunny for bikini on you, do if you want. At this point, yeah, I sure must that point works out, it's 18 plus for this channel, just a heads up. Alright, go on. <laughs> <laughs> As we're talking oh, about putting the yeah. elves in gimp suits, alright? <laughs> I, you know what? I think this is a fabulous idea. <laughs> I actually, have something in the closet. Oh, <laughs> I have something down the yeah, You have something in the closet. <laughs> uh, no, at this point, you just most notice... Of your, most of your combat skills are not based on weaponry, so you're fine. I guess so. Dead eyes on the other hand might stuff. be a problem. We might have yes. to be creative on where we're going to hide dead eyes' equipment. <laughs> At that point, you see Una kind of uh, enter in you, uh, kind of just uh, raises her hand off the kitchen table, and as she raises her hand, oh, don't worry, you put in a cocaine in a bunny in a bunny for bikini too. <laughs> she, she she raises her hand off the table, and as she does so, this greenish little silhouette of a humanoid shape is there, and it hops off the counter, runs across <laughs> the floor, and climbs up onto the tower, and starts looking around the computer, and she's just kind of pause. Hold on. And she's like just standing there as this little imp like thing just disappears into the computer. Has somebody been fucking around with our system? She kind of just puts the food down now, quickly looks over to the computer. It's a computer. It's like me using it as a paperweight. I have no idea what to do with it. Well, that and bash people over the head. Well, this is actually the table, the smart surface table that you guys have got yeah, in the room. Bash people over the head with the table. Yeah. I was a little drunk last night. I mean, it could have been me. <laughs> 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 Uh, it's got Runraku's fingerprints all over it. We have an update. She's now looking to you, uh, Ivanhoe, because she... By the way, f um, for the new people here, uh, Uni is a human, Japanese human, uh, violet eyes, black hair with a purple streak, leather jacket, kind of rough punk type of look going for her. And she is the technomancer for the group, as Runraku has been hiring more technomancers to help fight the issue they have with technomancers starting to become more of a new thing in the world. If only is not dead because she works for a racket. And apparently Ivanhoe has this hatred for necromancers. Necromancers! Woohoo! Whoopsie daisy! Technomancers. Necromancers are cool, I don't mind them. That, well, actually, necromancers do exist. Uh, in a sense. In a sense. And, yeah. Oh, and actual real necromancers, too. But I'm I don't know. Talk to Kim. He was here. Ah... Uh, uh, thank you for that bush you were so awesomely dancing around. <sighs> so she kind of goes, and the little imp kind of just starts sending her information, you guess, as she seems to be nodding every so often. She puts away the rest of the food, starts chewing up something for herself to eat. So any other ideas? <laughs> Besides, like, dressing the elves up in gym suits? Uh, or slave suits? This, this Open group, ideas, ideas, guys. <sighs> Just so I have a couple of, I guess, heads and faces, but some kind of extra padding, make us look bigger. A 
Should you guys hit the posers? <laughs>